Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Marco and I'm Mr. Good Riddance. Today I'm doing something a bit weird. I decided to do a little experiment for the last video of this week's tutorial series. So now, without any further ado, let's do this! <laughs> Alright, so basically what I did is I glued together a few canvases. The base is a 30 centimeter or 12 inch squared canvas. On top of it we have a 30 centimeter diameter round canvas with a 20 centimeter or 8 inch round canvas on top of it and an upside down plastic paint palette glued on top of it all. <laughs> so I'm using a plastic strainer that I bought on AliExpress. This is made specifically for pouring, so it's the first time that I try it. Let's see how it goes. So I started adding a golden base and now I'm adding all the colors. I'm working with some shades of blue, some purple and pink, some gold and some white. As you can see, the palette is creating a pattern. Uh, you can get a very similar effect by cutting off the bottom of an empty plastic bottle, placing it on top of your surface and pouring paint on top of it. Now you can see how the paint is starting to flow and drip to the next layer to the canvas below. Generally speaking, I think it could have been a good idea to put this on a turntable to spread the paint more easily later on, but I'm not a huge fan of how these kind of patterns look when they are expanded, so I'll just tilt the canvas round and create some wavy effect. So right now I'm using paint by Magicfly, it's quite liquid so it flows quite well as you can see. So I'll deal with all those holes later on. And now I'm removing the strainer and I'll start tilting the canvas to move the paint around. I'll try to control the paint as much as possible to avoid too much of it falling down. I'm managing sometimes, failing other times, but it's quite complicated to work with this kind of difference in levels. So now I'm just trying to present the golden part, just fixing the holes a bit, moving again to recenter and now I'm gonna add a layer of gold and I'm gonna wait quite a long time and uh, now this is of, of course sped up and it's sped up 500% so as you can see I wait a long time for it to filter through the holes. I'm gonna start pulling the paint out from underneath the strainer and you'll see what I'm doing as soon as I remove it. So there you go, that's what I'm doing, right? I'm pulling it down or, or pushing it down rather. And I'm just gonna make them a bit fatter because I'll add another layer of paint, this time blue, and I wanna have space for them to mix. So now I'll add the blue and I'll wait again. This time I sped the video up even more, so just be patient here, right? Check under the strainer to make sure the paint is coming out of the holes and then just wait a bit. I'll add a different shade of blue, I'll finish off with some white in the middle. Once again, just wait for it to flow outside of the strainer. And now I will lift the strainer to see the final center of the painting. And here it is. I think it kind of looks like a face here, kind of looks like a helmet head or something like that. 
I like this 3D painting a lot. I think uh, it was uh, well, it was quite a strange idea that I just decided to test out, and I don't mind it so much. I think it's actually quite cool. What do you think? How do you like the results? Do you think I should try to do some more 3D paintings like this one? Let me know in the comments. I hope I inspired you to try to do something different today. This was the last video from the week dedicated to strainer pores and next week I will start teaching you how to do swipes. So please leave a like if you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are enjoying my tutorials and reach out if you have any questions. For now I thank you once again so very much and I'll see you next time.